Hello everyone. Today our team visited the Rampas farm and we observed the tikka disease in ground. So we made this video to give you the information about the tikka disease. self patel ayushi you can see groundnut plants here groundnut is the most important oil seed crop of india the total area under groundnut cultivation is about more than 3 million hectares there are so many diseases occur in groundnut like rust root rot stem and pod rot tikka etc tikka disease is the major disease of groundnut in india it occurs in every state of india and every groundnut growing countries of the world in this disease two types of leaf spot can be observed early leaf spot and late leaf spot early leaf spot in groundnut is caused by fungus cercospora acidicola and late leaf spot is caused by fungus pheocere opsis personata let's talk more about tikka disease myself chirag parma today we will discuss about economic importance of tikka disease Tikka disease is the most destructive disease of a groundnut occurring wherever groundnut is cultivated. In India, this disease occurs in all the groundnut area causing severe damage, particularly when the plants are affected early in the season. The loss in pod production may be sometimes as a high 40 to 50 percent. Myself Patel Ankit, symptoms appear when the plant are one to two month old due to excessive spotting on leaves. There is a gradual weakening of the foliage which result in defoliation. As we know that there are two types of leaf spot can be observed caused by species of Cercosporidium. Symptoms usually appear within 35 days. Most of symptoms are observed on upper surface of leaflets, but some spot also can be observed on reaches, petioles, stipules and stalks. The disease usually appears early, before 30 days after shielding. The, the Cercosporidium personatum and hence is known as a early leaf spot. The leaf spots are irregularly circular, reddish brown or dark brown on the upper surface and the surrounded by bright yellow halo. Several spots collapse and result in drying the leaves and defoliation of leaves. Symptoms usually appears after 30 days. Most of the symptoms are observed on lower surface of leaves, but due to heavy attack spread to other leaves, the spot on leaves are circular with a bright yellow halo around it. Mature spot usually darker than early leaf spot on the under surface of the leaves. The halo is not seen. The spot are deep black in color with a cluster of a Conidiospores bearing conidia arranging and concentrating manner. Several disease leaves dry up and result heavy defoliation of leaves. Loss of photosynthetic tissue leads to reduction in yield and the quality of nuts. Here you can see the leaf spot are irregular, circular, reddish brown on the upper surface and surrounded by a bright yellow halo. Here we can see the spot on leaves are circular with a bright yellow halo around a mature spot, usually darker than early leaf spot. On the under surface of the leaves, the halo is not seen. Myself Sahib Kureshi. Today I will tell you about the pathogen of early leaf spot in groundnut. The causal organism is Cercospora archidicola. Subdivision is Deuteromycotina. Order is Monelials. Class is Hypomycetals. Family is Demycetiaceae. Perfect stage is Mycosporella archidicola. The fungus is both intercellular and intracellular. The fungus produces abundant sporulation on the upper surface of leaves. Conidia spores are oilous brown or yellowish brown in color short one or two septate, unbranched and geniculated and arise in cluster. 
कोनेडिया आर सब हाईलाइन और पहले येलो ऑपक्ले वेट ऑफ एंड कर्ड थ्री टू ट्वेल्व सेप्टेड थर्टी फाइव टू वन वन जीरो बाई टू पॉइंट फाइव टू फाइव पॉइंट फोर माइक्रोमीटर इन साइज विथ राउंडेड टू डिस्टिंगली ट्रंकटेड बेज एंड सब एक्वेट टिप द फंगस इन इट परफेक्ट स्टेज प्रोड्यूस एसकी इन सीडोथिका विच आर ग्लोबुलस और ब्रॉडली ओवेट विथ पेपेलेट ऑस्टियोल्स एसकी आर सिलेंड्रिकल टू क्लेवेट एंड कंटेंट एट एस्कोस्पोर एस्कोस्पोर आर हाईलाइन स्लाइटली कर्ड एंड टू सेल्ड एपिकल सेल आर लाइजर देन लोअर सेल माई सेल्फ मकवाण हसमुख आई विल टेल यू अबाउट पेथोजन वॉप लेट लिप स्पॉट द कोजल ऑर्गेनिजम वॉप लेटली स्पॉट सड़कोस्पोर्डियम परसंटेनम टीनोनम स्वॉप लेटली स्पॉट फिजियोरिप्सिस परसंटाना सब डिविजन डिटेरोमाइकोटिना ऑर्डर मोनिलियस क्लास आई मेनोपिटेलिस एंड फेमिली डिमाइसिटिस द फंगस प्रोड्यूस बॉथ इंटरसेल्युलर एंड इंट्रासेल्युलर माइसेल The conidios spore are long, continuous, one to two septate, geniculated, rise in cluster or lower surface of leaves, and are olive brown in color. The conidia are cylindrical or obliquate, short, measure eighty to sixty by six to ten micrometer, aligned to olive brown in color. Usually straight or curve slightly within one to nine septa, but mostly three to four septa. The fungus in its perfect stage produces esky in pseudostasia, which are globous or broadly ovate with papillate ostial. Esky are cylindrical to ovate. Conidio, its escospor, escospor are two celled in constricted at septum and ilia. I am Badal Koyani. I am here to make a slide of tick disease of groundnut. Here we can see the conidia spore of Cercospora argyricola. Conidia spores are always brown, short, unbranched, one or two septate. Conidia are pale yellow, unbranched, often curved, three to twelve septate. Here we can see the conidia of Cercospora personatum. The conidia are cylindrical, short, slightly curved, with three to four septate. myself nai bharat now we'll discuss about disease cycle of tick disease affected plant debris are primary source of pinocolo for the disease cycle the debris have mycelia in compact form whenever the compact mycelia fair condition it produces conidia which spread through wind and splice and it serve as a primary source of infection when unfavorable condition occur the mycelia survive in dormant stage on infected plant debris within the time mycelia become compact and dormant until the favorable condition occur to produce conidia again My name is Kunal Makwana and today I will discuss about favorable condition of tick disease in groundnut. So first one is the low temperature around 25 to 30 degree with dew on the leaf surface. Heavy doses of nitrogen and phosphorus fertilizer and deficiency of magnesium 
which is favors of the disease so the prolonged high relative humidity for the 3 days mazhar patel dishan tashok bhai we discuss about how to manage tick disease of groundnut in culture control first one is you can grow rest on varieties like venama or early and late leaf spot of groundnut then also grow tirupati 3 is only for early leaf spot of groundnut second one is remove and destroy the infected plant debris of previous crop because infected plant debris to provide the platform of primary inoculum third one is eradicate the infected voluntary groundnut plants from the field because infected groundnut plants to provide the platform of secondary inoculum fourth one is crop rotation with millets because millets provides non host crop plant for pathogen fifth one is avoid excess use of nitrogen and phosphorus fertilizer to field because excess use of nitrogen and phosphorus fertilizer to combine with pathogen to increase the incidence of this disease in chemical control first one is to treat the seeds with theram or captan at the rate 4 g per 1 kg seeds or carbendazim at the rate 0.2% you also treat the seeds with neem seed kernel extract then at the growth stage to spray foliar application of fungicides like carbendazim at the rate 0.1% plus mencozab at the rate 0.2% or hexaconazole at the rate 0.2% or tebuconazole at the rate 0.2% or difenconazole at the rate 0.2% and then again also use biocontrol agent like trichoderma viridi at the rate 5% or verticillium lecani at the rate 5%